Conrad Tullis was a healthy, happy baby until he was 17 months old, fell into a pool, and drowned 13 years ago. Doctors resuscitated him, but a stroke left Conrad with massive brain damage. You know, an infant needs maximum assist for everything. You know, their eating, their, you know, their movement from one place to another. But these kids grow and they're cognitively aware. Liz established the Conrad Smiles Fund, recruiting parents and researchers who also believed their kids had potential. 70% of the families that participated in the study indicated that in the acute setting, when the child was first admitted to the hospital, the recommendation that they were given by their uh, neurologist was to withdraw care because their child would never recover in any meaningful way. But some kids did get better, listened to music, recognized friends, even communicated. They answer by eye blinks. They can spell things out by eye movement control on a computer. To me, what's so important about this research is now we have the science behind us. You know, so it's exciting because now we're building from what, what, you know, we, what we knew and what we developed. If we can make something better out of it for other people, you know, that's something that's so satisfying. I'm Marty Salt reporting.